This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in Miami. We just witnessed a first round stoppage from Jake Paul against a and Gibb. Jake, if you can, sum up for me how you're feeling right now. I feel amazed. I honestly don't even know what to say. I just feel blessed, lucky. Uh, there were so many signs in the past 24 hours that made me realize that this was going to be the outcome. My training camp started in Miami without me knowing where the fight was going to be. And the first day of training camp, my first workout was outside, and it was raining outside. And last night was the last workout, and we were outside here in Miami, and it was raining outside. And I was just like, holy cow, like, this is a sign from above. And that's, I really, that's really what I attested to. I'm, I'm blessed. Um, I think Gibb deserved to go a little bit longer, uh, but this is what we trained for. The big difference in there seemed composure. It seemed after the first knockdown, Gibb perhaps lost a bit of his. You seemed very calm from going into the ring, from when you were in there as well. How did you feel in the ring? Yeah, I fe- it, it literally felt like a sparring match. Like, my first fight against Deji, I was nervous as shit. But this, I wasn't nervous at all. The bell rung, wasn't nervous. It literally felt like a sparring match. Uh, and yeah, super composed. I knew he was going to come forward. Shane told me, stick move, stick move, stick move. Uh, but, uh, like... I don't know why he kept on coming forward after I was hitting him with those hard shots, but uh, yeah, here we are. In keeping with Shane, obviously you went up there at Big Bear, took yourself away from your home comforts and knuckled down BJ Flores there as well. How important was that, getting yourself away, locking yourself away, going through that grueling camp and having Shane there as well to learn from? So important, man. Like, I dedicated my life to this. Like, I, 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 I nearly cried in the ring afterwards because... I haven't done anything for the past six months besides fight. And being in Big Bear Locked Away, all you could do is think about fights. And uh, I fuck, man, I'm about to get emotional now. But like, yeah, it's super important, man. It's uh, It's been an amazing camp. And when you dedicate yourself to something and really believe that you can fucking do anything, like if you're a kid watching this right now, like I was just a fucking dropout loser like class clown <clears throat> but I always knew there was something more for me out there and I don't know fuck like you just gotta go hard obviously naturally people are gonna be looking at what comes next we saw JJ come into the ring good friend of Gibbs there was talk even before this fight if you did get the win we could see that down the line a bit of family revenge on the mind do you think that fight will happen yeah it's gonna 100% happen that's the next fight for sure uh, my team is gonna make it happen and KSI is fucked like KSI said the whole entire time, oh, Gibb's going to screw him up. Gibb's going to screw him up. Gibb was KSI's first sparring partner. So, and KSI can't do any of that damage that I did to Gibb. So I know KSI deep down is scared. And I think he threw Gibb in there to see how good I was. But, uh... KSI doesn't know what's coming for him. I'm just getting started. Like, I, I'm really good at this sport. I was built for this, and uh, I'm I'm gonna train harder than KSI, and and take him out. Look, I'll let you get away, Jake. But I'll leave the final. I love you. I love you guys. Bye.